The Rolling Stones tonight will bring their music to Cuba for the first time. Organizers say the group's live performance could draw more than a million people to the streets of Havana. The band arrived Thursday in the Cuban capital. Information shows us how the Stones are carrying on a tradition of musical diplomacy. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. The performance is billed as the first open-air concert in Cuba by a British rock band. Not too long ago, rock and roll was considered subversive and decadent by the Castro regime. So this concert marks something of a milestone. Hola, Cuba. After more than five decades of touring, the Rolling Stones will finally play in Cuba. Gracias por darnos la bienvenida a su hermosa país. The legendary band caps off an historic month for the island nation, one that saw its first visit by a sitting American president in almost a century. And its first electronic dance music concert ever. Diplo got nearly half a million people dancing in the streets of Havana. He told Charlie Rose why he brought his music to Cuba. That's the most important thing that we can do in America is to, is to bridge the cultural gap. Because that's one thing that we do have a lot of capital in is our, what we're doing as creative people. Nicholas Cull, a professor of public diplomacy at USC, says music breaks barriers. You have a moment that is in some ways unexpected and spectacular that is about energy and emotion and shows how people are coming together and that's the magic of these public events. In 1984, Wham! took its freedom tour to China, bringing pop music for the first time to the Middle Kingdom. In 1979, Elton John pierced the Iron Curtain with concerts in Moscow. And some say Billy Joel may have helped hasten the fall of communism when he toured the Soviet Union in 1987. Cuba is the last stop on the Stones' Latin American tour. The communist country once banned music by the Beatles, only changing its tune in 2000 when Fidel Castro unveiled this statue of John Lennon. And now rock royalty is set to thrill fans in the heart of Havana. Hemos tocado en muchos lugares increíbles, pero este concierto en la Havana será histórico para nosotros. I love hearing Mick Jagger speak Spanish. The concert is free and a first-come, first-served basis. It was actually supposed to take place this past Sunday, but the band pushed it back because of President Obama's visit. Now, if a million people do attend, that would mean one out of every 11 Cubans on the island would wow. be there. Awesome. And given what you saw with Diplo, Charlie, yeah, you, have, really have, you know, you can expect that kind of Absolutely. number. Absolutely. You know? yeah. I mean, Are you heading to the airport I now? Getting on a plane? <laughs> that is so up your but alley. You know, I wish I was. I really there. do. But yes. what he and I were talking about is why is nobody streaming this? I mean, yeah. why can they make some deal to bring this yes. to everybody? Yeah, it's an exciting Charlie. moment. Yeah. Great idea. It's a good idea for CBS. Tell somebody, Charlie. Yeah. It's a good idea for <laughs> That's CBS a really good idea. CBSN. Yes, right. really Anthony, good idea. Mr. Plepper, so where are you? Yeah. <laughs>